Hey, Arches. I'm Ellie Mel. I'm Nye. And I'm Kat. And, and we're, we're here, here with your morning bulletin. bulletin. Oh my god, did you guys set your schedule for next year? We're seniors, Kat. I know. I was talking to our lower classmen at home. Well, I hope you guys made your choices, but if you didn't, here's Ethan to help you out. Have you guys been caught up to the counselor's office? Oh, <clears throat> okay. Well, if you haven't, you should probably go talk to your counselors about that or something. I don't know. If your last names begin with A through K, then you have Mrs. Lapar. But if you're like me, L through Z, then your counselor is Mrs. Smith. Which is kind of funny because I've already been caught up and my last name begins with the letter V and you're still out here struggling, waiting for a call from the counselors. Couldn't be me. Anyways, we have a few new courses for you to pick from. Guess which one I'm going to talk about. So we have choir, string orchestra, junior varsity band, ethnic studies, sociology, and personal finance. Hmm? That's not a new course, but we are offering video production one and video production two if you want to do what I do. I'm sorry, that's the end of the script. Hey, Sanai, do you have a prom date? No, not yet. I'm, kind of, I'm trying to ask Kaylee. Do you have any tips on how to do it? Well, I know Cameron has some tips for promposal. Check it out. Hey, yo, it's Jay coming at you, you know, with promposals since it's next month. You should really ask your significant other in a loving, caring way, you know, but. Come with me and walk with me. You can ask your prom in flowers, chocolate, bears, anything really, big posters. Just make sure in it's a loving, caring way. Be safe at prom, guys. Have you been interested in taking art? Well, here's Miss Abernathy to catch you up on what her class is about. Check it out. Hey, everybody. For this week's teacher highlight, we are here with Miss Abernathy, who in this school teaches beginners and advanced art class. Now, my first question for you today is, for the beginners art class, what is it like teaching them about art and the many styles used in art? Um, for beginning art, it's really fun because uh, I have to teach them everything. So, because I'm the only art teacher, so we just do a little bit of everything. So we do like drawing and painting and sculpting, and um, I teach them about art history and like what's going on today in art. So it's just a lot of fun, and there's a lot to learn. So it's never boring. Now, my second question for you is, what is it like with the advanced art classes? Is, are there any major differences, or what's the experience like for it? Um, advanced art's awesome because it's all the kids that really like art, as you know, because you're in my advanced art class. Um, so it's all the kids that really like it and have a passion for it. And then it's totally different because I let them, as you know, <laughs> um, choose their own theme. And then what they do is they work on that theme for a whole semester, and then they put on an art show for everybody. So you guys have probably, hopefully, been to some of our art shows, and you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, we have one coming up in May. So make sure you guys go to it. It's going to be in the school library. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really fun teaching advanced art. Um, mostly because everyone's really good at art, and so it's nice for me to just see everybody grow and change, and yeah, it's awesome. Okay. Now, my final question for you is, is it interesting seeing all these students come up with different art styles? Yeah, it's amazing. I love seeing everybody's art styles, and a lot of times um, people teach me about things with the way they do their art style, so it's awesome. And I just like to see everybody kind of come into their own person as an artist. It's really, really fun, especially for advanced art. Melody, did you buy your yearbook yet? I sure did. I want to miss out on my senior year's yearbook. That's good. If you have not bought your yearbook at home, go to the student store. Check it out. Hi, I'm Kaylin Bryant with... Isabel Heredia. And uh, Isabel, what can we expect for yearbooks? Um, can I? <laughs> um, it will be like a good book yearbook. Um, they will be $80 right now, and then after spring break, they will be $85. You can get them at the student store. And yes. And uh, is there any kind of insider information we could maybe know about the yearbook? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Um, well, we won't get finished with the yearbook till May, but we are still working on it right now. All right. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Kalen Bryant with Mr. Hansen. And Mr. Hansen, uh, what can we expect from your book now and in the future? So for right now, we're still working on it. The book won't be done until middle to end of April. Um, so if you see your bookers around with cameras and things like that, please smile for the camera. Please help them out. We love to get as many photos of you guys in the book as possible. Uh, and then in the future, in May, uh, we will be releasing the book. So if, uh, 
If you haven't bought one yet, please go ahead and do so. Uh, right now they're $80 a piece. Uh, after spring break, they'll be $85. That's the highest that they go. But it is first come, first serve. We only have so many bought. And uh, I think at this point, we still have only like 60 copies left for the entire school. So if you really want one, it's better to get one sooner rather than later. And uh, when can we expect to see these yearbooks? So uh, I, I mentioned earlier uh, May, but uh, to be more specific, it's going to be probably usually, we haven't solidified a date yet, but it'll be either the last week of May or the second to last week of May. We usually like, like to make sure that the seniors can get it before they, gra uh, excuse me, before they graduate. Um, so there'll be more details about that in, in further weeks. Thank you so much. No well, guys, this has been your Morning Bulletin. I'm Nye. I'm Kat. And I'm Melanie. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.